You're watching the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Salah to settle it! In front of the COP! AGT outside Jurgens, where we've watched the game today. Like, comment and subscribe to the COP TV if you haven't already. <sighs> Sometimes, especially six days after we just beat the best team in the league, to lose to the worst team in the league, baffles me. It really confuses me. Yes, we've had injuries, but the level of performance today, we just never look like scoring. Yeah. Liverpool, Liverpool, we've lost, by the way. Nottingham Forest 1, Liverpool 0. Yeah, I had the, the sensation that we, we will never score because uh, the performance was, was atrocious, to be honest. One of the worst games ever. I don't know, I don't know even what to say because it's, it's been horrible. Uh, we try to create something, but when Thiago is not in the pitch, it's, yeah. it's of course, it's completely different Liverpool. And uh, we, we, we got no ideas. We, we don't know what to do with the ball. When we get the ball in the midfielders, we, we don't know what to do without Thiago. And, and we saw what, what's happened. Yeah, no Thiago, he had an ear infection and Nunes uh, hamstring, tight hamstring, wasn't risked today. Without them both on the pitch, I know Nunes is starting to find form, but without them two on the pitch, there was no control in the midfield and there was no out, out ball. There was no ball in behind. Um, you know, we, we were lucky not to lose that 2 or 3 nil, Mario. When you consider James Milner, amazing block, what a player. And then Alisson. And I have to give a shout out to Alisson because Robertson said last week the defenders have been letting Alisson down this season. And I agree. He's had to come up from a corner and he's almost got on the end of the corner, by the way, to score an equaliser. I mean... We can't just keep relying on our goalkeeper to be getting us out of trouble, whether that's a save, an assist or a goal. He's a goalkeeper, he keeps our goal. And sometimes he gets lucky to score a brilliant goal, same like West Bromwich Albion. I don't want to say any, it's an excuse, but this season, man, how many injuries we get? Every game, we don't, even we didn't play last two games and we got two injuries. Yeah. We didn't know that um, Nunes has got hamstring. For that reason, he left the pitch in the 55 minutes last game. And same situation with Thiago. Every this season is it's just all luck we we had the last season. It's reversed now in the in the bad luck. What can I say? We uh, it's just bad season, lad. It's bad season, and it, we're not lucky enough to you know because when we get injuries like this, we you you we can't. We can't get injured every game. This is not possible. It's not possible. It's, it's unbelievable. Come on. Uh, you know, I'm always positive, man. I'm always positive about everything. But now I have to say our chances for the, for the title are very, 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 like, probably, uh, probably not 100% gone, but something like that. Something like that. And I, want, I don't want to say this. I don't want to think like this because this is not me, but I have to be, you know, sometimes I don't need to think about it, have to be a bit like, just, it's, it, it is what it is, so we keep to supporting, but at the moment the situation is so bad, it's so bad, I'm, I'm pissed. I mean, going through the game, we didn't start well, we didn't necessarily finish well because we didn't score, but in the first half, to me, it just looked like we couldn't string five to six passes together. We had, like I said, no control of the midfield. No. These early kickoffs where the fans are on us. You know, we do that to other teams, but it's like we can't take it when it's on us. I mean, Nottingham Forest, with all due respect, you know, my girlfriend's from Nottingham, as you know, her parents are already texting me, giving me, giving me shit, as they should. And you have to give them some credit. What did you think about the goal, though? Um, came in the second half, they obviously let off a massive round of applause where at half-time when it was 0-0. But for their goal, credit to the goal scorer used to play for Liverpool. Nice moment for Awaniyi, um, you have to say. But was it offside? I don't know exactly the rules of the football, but something like what's happened today, I think this is at least the referee he needed to check on the VAR. At least, at least. Probably he was on offside on the free kick. He was offside so probably he needed to check he needed to check and uh, uh, after 10 seconds he scored uh, the winner so I, I don't know I don't know exactly the rules but I think this goal should be disallowed I mean they go 1-0 up they could have gone 2-0 up James Milner off the line they could have gone 3-0 up uh, apart from that incredible Alisson save which we've mentioned but 
going forward, Van Dijk had a few opportunities where he's headed it back across the goal instead of going for goal. Um, Salah obviously had a chance, Curtis Jones hit over, it wasn't looking good and we're obviously getting all the Everton fans going past us now who are loving this and going forward though, did you ever think like Liverpool were going to, let alone equalise, but win the game? <sighs> we didn't create like big chances to score, yeah Van Dijk the last second, he was completely alone, he couldn't even stop the ball on the chest and try to kick it. But, you know, the save was good. We need to give credit to Nottingham Forest as well. Uh, of course, it's the, 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 the league just says that it's the worst team in the league with five points, but they won today and let's give credit to them because they played, they played good, they played good and sometimes it's happening in English football. For that reason, we love the English football. The last team in the league can win against the first. We're not the first, of course, at the moment, but it's something that can happen. So let's give him a credit and uh, happy for them. What can I say? I'm... Going into this game, everyone predicted a win. Um, we wanted to make it three on the balance, as we mentioned in the match preview yesterday. But now that we've lost this game, we then play Ajax on Wednesday and then Leeds uh, this time, well, Sunday next week. I mean, they're under pressure as well with their manager, but... I mean, there's must-win games, and then there really is must-win games. We've still only won four games this season. We've lost three, drawn four. Um, <coughs> and we might go to the World Cup without an away win in the Premier League. Still, we haven't won away yet. Which is <coughs> simply embarrassing. I can't believe that we didn't win any away game this season. Why, though? Why can't we win away? I don't know, man, because our performance this season are so average. Uh, this is this is the point I think. So average, and uh, of course we tried to create something today. But when you lost against Nottingham Forest when they're fighting for the for the relegation, it's 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 something bad. It's something bad for us. But you know, of course, season is going. Season is too long. I always say that it's gonna be two seasons in one uh, because of the World Cup in the middle, of course. And uh, we we need just one point for the Champions League. We are still like 10 points behind the uh, uh, 13. I don't know. I just I, I look about Man City, Arsenal. I don't I don't care about Arsenal. But we are 10 points behind uh, City, so there is still a possibility to do something. But I don't know. I'm 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 so depressed today, lads. I'm so depressed, and uh, I I have some like little hope for the future. And uh, but what do you think? We can win the league this season. Or is gone, like 100%. What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Let's this is up. our instant match reaction, by the way. Our joint instant match reaction. Because I feel like I need to vent on the COP TV. Is, it, is the title done? Yeah. And I had a small bit of hope after the Man City game. But I think it is done now. And I think, realistically, Liverpool's best hope now is top four. Um... I just had a funny feeling, man, about this game. We haven't won there in five Premier League games. Yes, that was over 25 years ago, but sometimes records just come up and bite you, man, and you don't even realise that they're there. And then it's now six league games that we haven't won at, um, at Nottingham Forest. So performance levels today, energy levels, quality levels, all lacking. Midfield, Curtis Jones. Absolutely no quality. We have no quality today. Nothing. Um, even the defence was poor. I saw Van Dijk standing still for their goal. Um, I saw Joe Gomez have a poor game. Um, I can't really tell you anyone. Maybe Harvey tried a little bit. But again, that's, that's picking the best of the worst, really. There's no one that stood out attacking or defensive-wise uh, for Liverpool. And yeah, we've got all these injuries, but man, like... He's so bad. He's so bad talking after the defeats. So bad. He's so well, bad. Normally, it's when I interview people, I can just, I, I let my anger out via them. Exactly. But now I've given you the mic, I feel like I'm mad in here. Um, but bro, what can I say? Another loss. Not good enough, man. That is, for me, up there with Napoli, the away loss, as maybe the worst performance in Jurgen Klopp's history at Liverpool. I agree. Yeah, against Napoli was definitely the worst, because against Napoli we, we, we play nothing. We play nothing. Today we... we at least um, just create something and Salah, he missed like two chances. This is not at the moment. Yeah, he scored a win against Man City. Yeah. He's our probably most important player, but at the moment, 
it's not the real Salah. And this is affect the whole team. Same like Fabinho. When Fabinho plays bad, it affects the, all, the whole team. Fabinho didn't even start today, but he came on as a sub and stunk the ground out. Salah for me as well, some of his touches today, that's why I said quality levels. I mean, we can excuse a mischance, a good effort that hits the post, whatever. But when you can't, I mean, I saw it with Harvey, I saw it with, actually, I'm not just going to blame Harvey. Every single player today had a poor touch. And I'm talking about when that ball comes into feet, the touch is too big and the, and the midfielders get on top of us. Like I said, if we did get a draw out of that, we would have been so fortunate. But the fact that we didn't probably is the right result. But for them, you have to give them credit because that could maybe turn their season around now. And Steve Cooper obviously used to manage at Liverpool. Awani played for Liverpool. Nico Williams played for Liverpool. Who? <laughs> Don't say that. They beat us today, bro. Can't say who. I know, I know, I know. And then, you know, you look at Henderson, ex-Man United, Lingard, ex-Man United, celebrating in the end. It makes me sick. I know. But what am I going to do? Like, shite, shite, shite performance. But do you know what, Mario? I'm going to take the mic, back, uh, the mic back. The good news is, though, you are the FOCO fan cam of the week. So, every week, whilst we're with FOCO, we're giving away a prize uh, for the best fan cam of the week. And Mario, today, well, you're on the only ones, if I'm honest. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just the only one, so... No one else wants to talk to us right now after such a big loss, but... You were asking me earlier, can you use the discount? Yes, you can. I know you love Liverpool officially merchandised, uh, officially licensed products. Um, I've been to your house. You've got it everywhere. Thank you, brother. Thank you for this good present, amazing present. I'm going to give to my Joel, so Megan. It, big red, function. Megan. Oh, yeah. oh, she's a big red. She's two and a half, but she's a big red it already. So this is... Uh, 687 pieces. That's oh. going to take you a while to make, you and Megan. But we're gonna do it in probably one month so <laughs> well there you go mario what a, an interesting joint instant match reaction fan cam for both of us let's go on to the player ratings let's go liverpool fans listen up this is something for you so we are sponsored by foco a um, manufacturing much better toys than what liverpool are performances at the moment but as you can see if you want to support your team in a very fun and glorious way by having these cool little ornaments and toys or if you have a family member or friends who are Liverpool crazy, this is the perfect gift for them. Water bottles, nodding heads, dogs, and we've got it all. Yeah, again, lad, next to me bed. Make sure to use the link in the description now. Head over to FOCO and use the COP TV discount code to get 15% off. You can't go wrong. You need FOCO in your life.